wait for that to finish and then you're simply gonna go onto here save to gallery right here and press ok hey what's going on guys it's me crazy here and welcome back to the channel today ladies and gentlemen I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my Minecraft thumbnails. And yes, I know my phone is at 35%. Don't, don't judge me. I'm just trying to make this video, you know, let me be. <laughs> but yeah, I know you guys have been asking quite a bit how I make my thumbnails. And, you know, in order to help some of you guys with your channel, your thumbnails, try, you know, just try to make stuff look a tiny bit better. You know, that's why I'm making this video today. But before we hop into today's video, guys, if you guys do enjoy, of course, be sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications to never miss a brand new upload. Because, you know, you don't want that. <laughs> but jokes aside, let's, uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's just hop into today's, <laughs> I can't even speak. Let's just hop into today's video. <laughs> so, guys, you're going to need two apps. You are going to need Photoshop Touch being 1.7 for uh, phones android 8.0 and under or android pie edition being for android 9.0 and above so those are going to be down in the description and uh, no also i will add es file explorer down in the description for you guys optional to use but there's going to be a website that you're going to need to go to that's also going to be in the in the description called defont.com and in defont.com, most, most YouTubers use it to get the fonts that they use for their thumbnails. And let's just actually hop into, into that to show you guys, you know, how exactly that works. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much. So if you search up defont, the first thing that shows up right there is going to be the website to it. And you're going to go sh like, you know, directly to there. Once you go here, you're going to find all these different kind of fonts that you want to use. So let's maybe do baby monster because that one actually looks kind of cool. But I won't actually be using that one for this uh, video. But let's show it as an example. So when you find the thumbnail that you want to use, you're going to go on to download. So once you guys have finished downloading your font, you're going to open up ES File Explorer. And you're going to go to the right and go into your downloads folder. And it should show up right here. Somewhere in here. And you're... Oh yeah, babymonster.zip. You're going to go on to here. You're going to hold that down, go on to more, and then go on to extract to. And you're simply going to press OK. So once you do that, you're going to go back into your home menu. Now we're going to hop into Pixel Lab. So once you are in Pixel Lab, you're going to go on to plus in the top blue bar and then tap on text. You're going to bring this to the middle and probably make that a bit bigger. And you're going to go on to this A in the bottom right and go on edit. So you're pretty much going to put the text as whatever you want. So I'm going to put it as thumbnails because I'm going to add a Minecraft PNG logo right on top of it. Let's probably, let's probably make this a bit smaller and expand that out. And this is how you guys add your fonts. You're going to scroll down until you find a B and font right under it. You're going to go on to, you can pick any of these that you want, but if you want to pick your own, you're going to go on to my fonts. Go on to this T with the plus on it. Go down to your downloads. And then when you find the one that you want to do, just go on add selected. You're going to scroll. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I forgot to do that. You're going to go on to here. You're going to do that. You're going to pick the one that you want. And you're going to select all of these just to make sure. And then go on add selected. And it's going to show up like that. So you could pick that font that you want to use. But the one that I am going to use is moon get heavy. So let's put it like that. And then just make that a bit longer, like so. And then we're going to go on to color. Being, where is it? It's, yeah, it's up here. It's going to be the one where it looks like a bucket with paint spilling out. And you can go on to a solid color. Or you can go on add gradient. And I'm going to use this. And you can go on plus to change it how you want. So let's say we do it like that. And maybe for this one, go on plus and make it a tiny bit darker. Uh, actually, I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna get rid of that one, and then you can change the color on the bottom right with the bucket. I'm gonna make that a little darker like that, and that should be good. Let's try to make this one a tiny bit brighter, some more yellow, like that. And that is actually looking pretty good. So, let's have it like this, go on OK, and that's looking nice. Go on to the check, 
And if you want to add a stroke to this, just scroll down till you find stroke and go on enable like that. And I'm probably going to put the size to about like, mm, maybe 15. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then if the letters seem too close, like this one actually does, you can go on to spacing right here and either space the letters, which is exactly what we need to do. So let's try to move this to the right a bit. And that actually looks perfect just like that. And you can position that or, or change the spacing of the words. So once you do that, we're gonna, let's see, I wanna add, I wanna make it a tiny bit 3D. So let's go on that and just bring that down to about mm, maybe two. Or no, five's good. And yeah, just have it like that. So once you're finished editing your thing, there's different ways you can change the perspective. You can add a reflection. There's embossing where it pretty much just pops it out a tiny bit more. And there's shadows, inner shadows like that, where you can have that on or just have it, you know, with that in the background. You can play with all that that you want, but this is how I do it. So once you have finished, you know, making the text for your thumbnail, you're going to go onto these three dots in the top right like that. And you're going to go on to save to gallery and make sure, even though it usually defaults to PNG, do keep it as PNG. Because if you have it as JPG, as it literally says, no transparency, it'll have a white background instead of no background, which is probably what you don't want in case, you know, or if you do, then that's you. But if you just want it to be regular, you know, text, keep it as PNG. Then you're going to go on to save to gallery. So guys, we are now in Adobe Photoshop Touch. And again, like I said, the link to it will be down in the description for you guys to download. Once you guys are in here, you're gonna go onto this plus with the frame, like the picture frame in it, go onto that and go onto blank document. You're gonna change whatever top one is to 1280 and make sure the bottom one is 720 because that is the size of a thumbnail that you need for all your videos. Once you do that, it's gonna pop up like this. So, once you guys are in here, you're going to go onto these two squares with the plus on the bottom right. And you're going to go onto plus, and then photo layer, and photo library. And you can pick whatever screenshot that you want to use, but I already saved one for this. I'm going to make it about that big, and probably push the character off to the side a little bit, like that. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I'll probably make this a tiny bit better, so let's maybe scroll it to the right a tiny bit like that maybe make it a tiny bit bigger would be yeah actually no i don't think i like that I'm, I'm gonna try to fix this until i think it's the right position so even though i probably didn't say anything uh when if you don't really like the position you have it once you're already done i'll quickly show you guys you can go on to and go on to transform and you can pretty much change it however you want but the best way that I recommend doing it is going onto this box, the sketch, this little sketch line box with the pencil and go on show pointer because that lets you, you know, more precisely pick anything that you want. And the circle, every time you hold down with your right thumb, the cursor, a little circle is going to pop up like that. So every time I press down this, you see that circle pop on the bottom left. When you have that, it's only going to select any item when you put your other thumb on that little circle. So you see how it's showing that now and it shows a little thing for it. And you can have it like this, pick it like that, or you can hold it down and position it like that, however you want to do it. It's entirely up to you. And here, there's different ones. There's like a box selection tool, a circle selection tool, and a lasso. And I'm pretty sure, you know, you guys get those, but the lasso one might be a little confusing where it's pretty much just you pick it however you want to draw it out. And obviously, the one that also might be confusing, the polygon selection tool, which is the one I just showed you. And if you want to deselect an item, you can go back onto that uh, sketch box with the pencil and go on deselect. And the, the polygon selection tool pretty much just, you know, lets you pick out whichever way you want, but just in lines. So yeah, uh, I'm going to quickly reset that and put it back to this. And pretty much what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to, again, make sure you have your image exactly how you want it to be. So we're going to have it like that. And my character, I think I can make it a tiny bit bigger. So let's quickly bring that like so. I think that is perfect. From here, you're going to start selecting the thing you want to crop out. So pretty much you're going to start from whichever spot that you think is best. You're going to position the little cursor in that spot. 
and then with your left thumb you're gonna hold down and then that's how you start it and then you're gonna do this all around until you have fully selected out your item So guys, once you are done selecting the thing that you want to crop out, you can crop it out or if you want to keep the background in it, but you just want your character to pop out like fully, you can either, of course, just go onto here and then go onto extract and that fully crops it out. But that's not what I'm trying to do for this one. You can go onto the little onto the bottom right where it's the two squares, go on to plus and go on layer from selection. And from here, go on to deselect, and I want to blur the background. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to go onto the item that you want to blur, so you can easily just, you know, tap an item like that. Oh, did not mean to do that. Uh, you can go into that. Oh, actually, I might as well show you. If you double tap an image, it lets you look at it like that. But that's not really too useful. It's just if you want to, you know, just something cool to add to it. But you're going to want to tap on the image that you want to add a blur to. Go on to effects and go on to gestion blur. And as you can see, it blurs it out, but I don't want to have it too much. So let's maybe go on to seven. I think that is perfect. And from here, how exactly do we want to do it? Um, I think I'm going to crop out half the image. So I might as well show you guys how to do that. Make sure again, you are on the image that you want to crop out half of. You're going to go like this. You're going to start from the top or whichever position that you want to crop it. And then let's maybe do it like that and we're gonna bring that to here and then you're gonna select on the outside of the box like that and make sure it's kind of far away from it like so and then it's gonna get that from here you're gonna go on to this right there what's the two boxes and go on delete oh did not mean to do that you're gonna go on to that or no <laughs> oh gosh uh, i'm messing up i'm sorry guys well, uh, when you have that selected, you're going to go on to this and you're going to go on to clear. I don't know why. It's like I'm forgetting everything, how this works. And then you're going to go on to deselect. From here, I want to add a separate image that I have saved into my downloads. So we're going to back out of that and go down to your downloads. And I have this image that I want to use right here. So we're going to add that like so. Just make that bigger enough to fit that. And I'm going to add that right here. And then we're going to bring this, oh, we're going to bring this over that. So already that's looking pretty good. So again, we're going to go on to select pixels on that one. Go on to plus empty layer done. Go on to and up here, fill in stroke, change type to stroke. And this is how to separate the two images. So that it pops out more. You're going to go on to width. And you're going to change that to whichever size that you would like to use. So I think I'm going to use that. And then from here, we're going to bring this like so. You're going to go on to deselect. And you're going to change this. You're going to transform that. And you're going to make the image bigger so that these three lines right here don't pop up. So you're going to change it just like that. And let's try to go on extras and turn off snap so it doesn't just lock into place. We're going to have it like that. And there we go. From here, another way to make it pop out, you can go onto effects and drop shadow just to make that look a tiny bit better, just like so. And then from here, this is when we're going to add our text. We're going to go on plus, photo library, photo, well, photo layer, then photo library. You're going to go down to pixel lab and you're going to choose the text that you had made. Go on to add. And that should show up like that. You're going to bring this up to the spot that you want to use it in. So let's quickly make that a tiny bit smaller. Maybe tilt that a little bit. And that is going to be good like that. Let's try to zoom in a tiny bit. And how do we want to do it like that? And then this, I'm going to try to reposition a bit. So go on transform. Bring that to your left a little bit. And let's turn on snap just to make sure that's perfectly in place. We're probably going to make this a tiny bit bigger like that i think it makes it easy like that and you can still kind of notice the background so let's go on to here and transform and just move a tiny bit to the right like so yeah that looks way better now to make your character pop out a little bit you can go on to here 
when I've gone to effects, drop shadow, just to add that little bit. And then the thumbnails, we're gonna add the Minecraft logo to that text. So go back into your photo library. I have it in my downloads. And one tip, I don't know if I already said it, is that if you guys wanna get a, a logo without the background, just search up the game or movie, whatever logo for it, and just put PNG after. And that pretty much gets you with a transparent background that you can use for your thumbnails. So I'm gonna get this one, go on to add, and we're gonna kind of transform this, make it look a little bit better, maybe tilt it like so. Uh, let's go on to here and turn off snap so it doesn't just lock into place. And you're going to have it like that. So guys, one tip that I recommend to you all is that if you want to have your text behind your character or have your character pop a little bit more, if you're fine with it like that, that's good. But if you just want that to, you know, have a little more, you know, pop out, you can easily just bring this right in front of any text that you want, just so that it looks better. So I have that now. And from here, how do I want to do? I think I want to combine these two layers. So we can go like this, go onto this little two boxes, go onto the one with the arrow, and go on to merge down. From here, we're gonna go onto the box with the pencil, select pixels, go onto plus, empty layer like that, go onto end, fill in stroke, and we're gonna put that stroke to about like that i'd say that's pretty good and we're just gonna put that right behind it go on to deselect and i think that should be good now what i really want to do just make it pop out a tiny bit we're gonna go onto here effects drop shadow just to add that tiny little bit just to make it look you know just that much better so from here I'm going to use maybe three examples of thumbnails that I make. So I actually need to re-download those. So I guess I'll be right back once, you know, once I get those. So guys, I am back and I added three of my favorite thumbnails that I have made in the past. Just to, you know, bring the point across. I have these right here. That like that. So what I want to do, just to add these into the thumbnail. I'm going to make these two disappear quick. I'm going to go into N, transform, and I'm going to bring this right over here. I'm gonna make this smaller, like that. Let's see, we're gonna have this one like this. So let's make that a tiny bit smaller, like so. And that should be good, like that. Let so me bring this down a tiny bit more, like so. That should definitely be good. We're gonna add this one. We're gonna make that one visible and transform. We're gonna make this smaller, like that. We're going to tilt it like this and put that one right here. Maybe do it like that. Should be good. Should be good. Do it like this. And bring that up a bit like so. And we get this final one right here. Make that one visible. Go on to N. This. And we're going to make that a little smaller. Bring that over here. Bring that a tiny bit like so. And we're going to tilt that like that. And yeah, that is good like so. So, I think that is enough. Obviously, you can tweak it how you want to. So now that I'm looking at this, I can go on N, transform. And I want to bring this one a little lower. Because I think, you know, it's too high up. And this one right here, transform. Bring that down a little bit, like so. Maybe bring that in so that more of the thumbnail actually shows. From here, you can go on to how exactly can we do it? I think I just want to add drop shadows to these. Maybe. So if we go on to here, you can go on to merge down, like so. One tip that a lot of Minecraft YouTubers do, but I usually don't show is with these you can always do this thing where it, like it's like an outline of a character or thing but it's only on the side so pretty much you can go on to here select pixels and fill and stroke have it as fill and then go on deselect bring it behind the image so it would be like oh where is it where is that other one oh 
I actually did that wrong. <laughs> okay, when you have it like that, go on to plus and then empty layer. So after you select the image, don't just go directly to and fill and stroke, add an empty layer, then go on to and then fill and stroke. Have it like that, go on deselect, bring it behind that image, go on to and again, transform, and people would have it slightly off. Like it would be like that. So if we go on to here, turn off snap, see how we can like slightly have it pop out. I think that looks really good. So if we had it maybe like this, I think I could probably do that. I think that looks really good. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so once you do that, uh, let's probably change this a little bit to have it pop out a tiny bit less. Just enough to, you know, emphasize that. Like so. You can just combine the layers. And I think I'm going to add a drop shadow after I do that. So merge down. Go on to effects. Drop shadow. Make that look a tiny bit better. Yeah, I think that looks really good. And then we can bring this behind the player. And... The final, final thing, just the cherry on top that I love to do with all, and I mean all of my thumbnails, is if we go on to here, go on to plus, photo layer, pretty much just add any layer that you want to. So I'm at this one again because it actually fills the entire display. You're going to bring this up. You're going to make sure that's over everything. You're going to go on to here, select pixels, go on to empty layer like that, go and fill in stroke type stroke and i always set it to 30. so we have that we can delete this image like that and then you're going to set this as overlay so you're going to go on these two squares where right here where it says normal top of that and put it as overlay and i always love to do this with all of my thumbnails so let's probably bring it behind this, and I think that looks really good. Maybe behind this too. Yeah, that looks nice. That actually looks really nice. So once you guys are done, and you guys like how your thumbnail has come out, just go on to done, save, wait for that to finish. And then you're simply going to go on to here, save to gallery right here, and press OK. And obviously, if you want to do one where it has a background that you don't want to have and you want it to be transparent, just select it as PNG. But that is pretty much going to do it, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, obviously, again, be sure to drop a like. And yes, <laughs> my phone is not 26%, so I really need to put this to charge. But if you guys enjoyed it enough, be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that. If you guys really did enjoy, stay awesome. Stay crazy, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Bye-bye.